What's going on, Guardians? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Autry Snipe, and today we're going to take a look at the Hunter 3.0 Infinite Invis build that I've used for seasons for no com LFG helps and Grand Masters. If you find this video helpful in any way, smash that sub button and like the video. Let's get into it and talk about the abilities, aspects, fragments, mods, and all of the above. In the abilities, I run Gambler's Dodge because dodging near enemies fully recharges your melee ability. Also, the other ability you'll put on is the Snare Bomb. That not only can make you invis if you throw it near you, but also weakens targets for increased damage and slows their movements. Then I like to put on the lovely Vortex Grenade. This grenade pulls AdWords in and continuously damaging enemies trapped inside. Now time for the great aspects. Banishing Step. Very easy. Dodging makes you invisible. And the Trapper's Ambush. That has a really cool activation called Quick Fall. If you uh, activate it in the air, your uh, smoke, you can actually dash the ground smash and it creates a large smoke cloud on impact and also weakens targets caught in the cloud but also nearby allies can be made invisible too so you can either use quick fall for a little more invis for yourself or smoke bomb the ground for normal time all right fragments and since this is a powerhouse of invis you want echo of obscurity so if you thought dodging and throwing a smoke bomb was enough now when you finish your any ad you become invisible visible without dodging or activating your smoke bomb. Let's talk about Echo of Instability. Defeating targets with grenades grants volatile rounds to your void weapons. I do use this in hope of a Grandmaster that I can get a nade kill, but let's face it, Hunter nades are not the best in endgame PvE, but it doesn't hurt to throw it on. Because when you get that nade kill and volatile round procs, you'll be happy it's there. A must have fragment I enjoy having on is Echo of Persistence. Void buffs applied to you like invisibility have increased duration. So longer invisibility, which I don't know about you guys, but with the Graviton forfeits, which is our exotic, outbeats every other invis exotic out there, including Omni Oculus, which I found myself hurting to stay invis during any Grandmaster. I'll even give you guys as a demonstration why this build with Graviton Forfist outbeats Omni Oculus. Then we'll get into the mods afterwards and stats. First, let's test Omni Oculus with 90 mobility and 90 strength. We are going to waste all of the invis, and this is going to show us how fast we get invis and how long we'll stay without invis. For me, every second without invis could be a death in Grandmaster. And for Omni Oculus, once you first waste all of your invisibility off the rip, it's 7 seconds till you get your next invis back and if you activate that invis right off the bat near no enemies then you have to add another eight seconds without invis once that invis runs out so you're getting punished even harder and yes this is with utility kickstart double stacked on which when your class ability energy is fully extended you gain class ability energy goes the same with perpetuation that reduces class ability cooldown when using class abilities if these mods are not applied to omni oculus then you get a terrible result instead of seven seconds it goes to 10 seconds seconds to gain your dodge back then if when you lose that invis it's another nine seconds until you gain your next invisibility back so that's an extra four seconds in the total number counts with and without those mods on but with the graviton forfeits with 90 mobility and 90 strength it's a total of four seconds and this will be without invisibility until you gain your invisibility back if you mess up and by that time you'll have your smoke bomb and dodge back so that's a two invis back instead of one and this is if, if there's no ads and you're just trying to hide or really need invis yes this is without utility kickstart and perpetuation so this opens up other slots for mods all right let's get into the stats mods and also a secret graviton perk which uh, is not on the uh, perk area but the stats as always highest mobility and 100 resilience because that is just the meta of the game and with all the mods you'll have on this will give you about 80 to 90 damage resistance in total so you're practically a tank and also invis at the same time so what's the secret graviton forfeits perk when you're near ads you gain class ability energy the more ads the better i've noticed that if i was with three ads i got my smoke bomb practically when the smoke bomb was done and i was out of my invis i could smoke bomb again and again and again without using my dodge but the main perk is that you increase the duration of any invisibility effects and while 
while you're in viz your melee recharges faster your weapons reload faster and your recovery is greatly increased i like the graviton forfeits to be arc energy with a mod called powerful friends and you're really gonna focus on its second perk that gives you a plus 20 to your mobility and this activates when you have at least one arc mod is socketed on that piece of armor or at least one other arc mod is socketed into another piece of armor you are wearing for the gauntlets i suggest them to be void energy so you can throw on reaping well maker when you activate your class ability your next weapon final blow on a combatant spawns a void well also picking up elemental wells that match your subclass damage grants energy to all abilities and because this is very low in the energy cost this opens up a lot of room for the throwing on the seasonal artifacts for grandmasters when they come around now time for the chest armor and you want to throw that bad boy to arc for radiant light and you're gonna be focusing on its second perk which is just like powerful friends but instead of mobility you gain a 20 in strength do what you will for artifact mods i suggest throwing on at least one arc damage resistance one concussor and then one of the uh energy diffusions uh so it just depends on the chest piece but this is going to give you your max of damage resist for the leg armor set that to arc energy as well for striking light this gives you 20 five percent resistance while sprinting i run a lot so this is gonna stack with my 100 resilience the concussive damper arc damage resistance mods all of the above they're just gonna be really really great and then also for the hunter cloak you're gonna want to make that void energy for a special mod called well of tenacity that when you pick up a void well the damage you take from combatants is reduced by 50 percent and because these mods that i'm giving you have so low of energy costs this opens up for like lucent finisher during grandmasters for heavies for your whole fire team or advanced scout from the seasonal artifact or you can put on any mod you enjoy that suits your strike or raid so like always guys i have ran this tons of times i have over a thousand grandmaster players i have done no com lfg helps if you guys have made it this far in the video thank you guys so much um i do not stream so i'm not gonna tell you guys to go to stream if you guys enjoyed the content and you guys want to see more of this i do all the editing all the processing by myself so it does take a little bit longer but these are builds that i have ran in grandmasters and i personally would recommend for end game pve content because i have done this and so yeah i'm not just giving you guys some random build and being like this is the best in the world no i have made bad reviews on builds and i will continue to give you guys 100 percent of my opinion on a build if it's good or bad so other than that guys smash that sub button for more content like the video hell put a recommendation down in the comments if you guys want to it helps out a lot you stay safe and i'll catch you guys on next one peace